Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to be covering how to install Windows Server 2016 step by step. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this lesson, we're going to be installing it via VMware Workstation 15 Pro, but any version of VMware will do, or if you're following along uh, in a actual OS install, that is perfectly fine as well. So first we're going to go to create a new virtual machine. And we're going to just go ahead and click next on typical install. And then we're going to select the ISO file that we want to install. Now, if you're using a fresh disk install, you'll just follow the instructions on the screen when we get to that point. So I am doing a data center eval ISO that I have found online. This is a 180 day trial. You could also go and check that out here. There is an eval center for Microsoft. And what you do is you scroll down to server evaluations and server 2016 is right here. I downloaded the ISO format and uh, grabbed that ISO. So now we're going to take that ISO. We're going to install it here. Say next. It's going to ask for a product key and a version of Windows we're going to install. We don't need a product key here. We'll just select standard core 2016, hit next. It's going to ask, are we sure we want to continue? Because we didn't enter a product key. We're going to say yes. And then it's going to ask us a location. We want to install this. I have a custom folder already for this. And we're just going to say next. So when it comes here to how we're going to store disk capacity, we're going to say split virtual disk into multiple files. You can also store it as one single file if you'd like. And you can choose how many gigabytes you like. I'm running this as a test server, so 60 gigabytes is plenty. Uh, and I'm going to split the virtual disk into multiple files so that way it can expand to 60 gigabytes as needed as uh, instead of storing it all at one time. So hit next there. And very important to note, do not power on this virtual machine after creation. There's one more setting that we have to change, so make sure that box is unchecked and hit finish. This will take us now to our settings. We're going to go ahead and hit edit virtual machine settings. And we're going to delete this floppy drive here. So go ahead and remove it. And then just hit OK. And now we can power on this virtual machine. So hit any button to boot from the CD. Now it should start loading up. And this may take some time on your end. OK, so you're brought to this screen here, where it says language to install. We're going to go with English, keyboard, US. Hit install now. Again, this portion may take some time. OK, we're going to select Windows Server 2016 Desktop Experience. This gives us a GUI. Otherwise, we would have no GUI on the standard evaluation or the data center evaluation. Go ahead and hit Next. Accept the license terms. And then at this screen, we're going to go ahead and hit custom install windows only. We're going to hit new down here to allocate. And we're just going to apply what it allows us to allocate. Hit OK. And it'll build out all the partitions for us automatically. So let's go ahead and hit next there. And now this will take some time to install. Once that finishes, your server should reboot and take you to the next screen, which is customize settings. We're going to go ahead and just enter in a password for our administrator account. OK, and you should be brought to this screen now. So all you have to do is control alt delete. If you're using VMware, there's this handy dandy little button here. And all you're going to have to do now is to log in. And it's going to set up your profile for the very first time. So this may take a second as well. Here we go. We are loaded. Let's drop this, zoom back in. You may need one more restart in VMware to get full screen. But you have now successfully installed Windows Server 2016. 